Hi everyone, my name is Farhan Saeed. I am a PhD candidate in the College of Education at Oregon State, where I'm studying language, equity, and educational policy. I also serve as a graduate assistant for diversity and cultural engagement, where I work with the Ittihad Cultural Center, which supports the Middle Eastern, South Asian, and North African um, communities. I grew up in Mount Juliet, Tennessee, which is about 20 minutes east of Nashville. I grew up in a predominantly white area. My brother and I were the only Muslims in our whole county, one of like 10 people of color in our whole school. So it was pretty lonely growing up, but that experience really made me resilient. I came to Oregon State to do my PhD in language equity and educational policy, and it was hard. Every day when I would walk on campus, I never saw someone that looked like me. But I learned so much about myself. What are the things that I need that are important to me? And so one of the things was just how big community and belonging was for me. And so the ECC was just that, was a place for belonging, a place for community. If it wasn't with the Ittad Cultural Center, I would never know there were places to pray on campus. If it wasn't for the Cultural Center, I would never have found out what are some of the halal food kosher items that I could eat. Even like where the mosque was in Corvallis, like I didn't even know that. And you know, what's interesting is there's not a lot of places like the ECC at other universities in, in the US. And so it's a special place because it supports a group of students that often are marginalized by providing this space, it can be the difference maker when it comes to a student graduating or a student just being able to form a relationship and connection. It helps with retention. It helps with building that community and belonging. That's the power of the cultural center. My research is really looking at how Muslim students really conceptualize their identities on college campuses. And so my research is really hoping to be able to bring to light some of these misconceptions, assumptions, biases that are towards Muslim students. Oftentimes when we talk about the Muslim student experience, it, all, it only always has a single narrative, but there's so many more narratives than just that single one. A lot of things that I experienced growing up in terms of Islamophobia, racism, power, discrimination, Students are still facing that today. And so I want to be able to fill that literature and then also provide a report to universities, especially predominantly white institutions. And this is how Muslim students are feeling. Here are some things that based on they've shared with me that are things that maybe you might want to grapple with when it comes to supporting students that are part of the Muslim faith.